Okay, we're rolling. We've caught something really, really cool here. I'm gonna give that to you, Florian. Yep. It is a hybrid gar between an alligator gar and a long nose gar. Wow, look at this. Every once in a great while, you find yourself in exactly the right place at exactly the right time, where you witness something magical in nature and are lucky enough to catch it on camera. Deep in the backcountry of East Texas, we were on the second day of filming our epic Gar Wars saga that centers around the conservation of these living relics. Look at that! Our first alligator gar! Hold on. It's a big slimer, this one! <laughs> Look at my hands, just covered. Do you smell it? A gar slime. Okay. We set a series of gill nets, and as we began our wait to catch fish, the weather decided to make life on the river a little more challenging. Right here, we are in the water where there is no rain, and here it comes, like a freight train. This is gonna be awesome. Nothing like moving through a rainstorm looking for alligator gar. Jeremy Wade, you'd be proud. This is a true episode of River Monsters right here. Every episode I've ever seen, I feel like Jeremy goes up against a rainstorm and then he gets the big fish. Maybe we'll have the same luck. Woo! During a torrential Texas downpour, the only thing you can do is sit and wait. There's a strange, eerie calm in the air and uh, I feel like I experience the same feeling every time I'm about to encounter a very large animal. It feels very alligator gar-like out here right now. Eventually, the rain let up, but with a more menacing storm creeping in on the radar, we decided to pull the nets and call it a day. That is when the magic happened. We've caught something really, really cool here. I'm gonna give that to you, Florian. Yep. It is a hybrid gar between an alligator gar and a long nose gar. Wow, look at this. Okay, Max, what do you need me to do? Grab right where I am right now. Okay. And I'm going to its tail. Cradle it some more. Yep. Okay, hopefully we don't flip the boat. Three one. Right, coming up. Good, are you ready? Yep. Three. Two. Right. Whoa. Wow. Look at that dinosaur. Not your typical fish. A hybrid between the long nose and the alligator gar. Look at the size of its snout. Long, skinny, and broad at the same time. This is amazing. This is something we've never caught before. Wow, really, you've never actually caught a we've hybrid before? never, ever caught a hybrid before. That is really cool. Wow, look at the teeth that are coming up from on the underside there. That's so much different looking than the alligator gar we caught the other day. Okay, well, let's get it out of the net so we can get a better look at it. Gently put it down in the boat and the soft mat. Okay, here we go. It's amazing how there's such a variety of teeth throughout that snout. Bigger teeth and smaller teeth. Don't put your finger in there. I'm not going to put my finger in there, that's for sure. This is huge for the research that the Gar guys are doing. Now, they do have a skull of a hybrid, but they have never caught a hybrid in the wild before. So we're going to collect biometrics on this fish. This is crazy. This is so exciting. How, how excited are you guys to have gotten this fish? We're, we're completely excited. thrilled, man. This is awesome. This is a really cool moment. What you are looking at is the hybrid between an alligator and a long-nosed gar. Now, the alligator gar has a very narrow, very blunt, very short snout. We feature that in the much larger fish we caught a couple days ago. But the long nose gar has a very long, elongated snout. And you can see that you've got exactly the combination of that in this fish. Now, the alligator gar gets its name because it similarly looks to the reptile known as the American alligator. But if I were gonna compare this gar to a reptile, I'd say it's more crocodile like. And you can see all of those jagged teeth coming out along the sides of the jaws. There you're getting the chance to just look right down the throat of that river monster. That is so cool. An ancient relic, a hybrid unlike anything else 
that is swimming in this river system. And how this happened is essentially an alligator gar and a long nose gar spawned together and created this hybrid, not something that you oftentimes will come across in nature. And look at the coloration, absolutely beautiful. Much more blue in color than the alligator gar, closer in design color-wise to I'd say the long nose gar, and that counter shading allows these fish to stay camouflaged from the surface. So if I just gently set it down into the water like that, it makes the fish almost invisible. But when I lift it up and you look at the underside, if a prey item were coming up from beneath the fish, it would be able to sense that, and that prey item would see nothing other than this white underbelly, which of course then blends into the light coming down from the sun. Wow. This is like unbelievable. The Gar guys are so excited right now for us to have caught this fish. You guys wanna jump in here for a second? This is such a cool moment for the research. Hayden, we'll start with you. What does this mean for your research this summer to be able to collect the biometrics of, of something this unique? Well, although genetic research has been done on um, this hybrid, um, this is actually the first account in science that uh, we we're actually able to put a transmitter in this fish and actually understand its movement ecology. So I'm pretty honored to do that, and I can't wait to see what we find out. So Florian, for you, coming all the way from the Netherlands, did you ever think that you were going to come across a hybrid between two of your favorite species? No, I knew it was possible, but this is very exciting and definitely a bucket list for sure. So that's really, really cool. And for you, Max, what does it mean to have come across a hybrid between the alligator gar and the long nose gar while doing your internship this summer? I mean, it's really amazing. It's truly unique and it's, it's just a special fish. I feel like you guys are all pretty speechless in this moment. When we pulled it up from underwater, the look on your face, like I had no idea that this was something that had never really been documented by you guys before. So to have this moment happen when we were out here filming certainly is special for us. We're gonna finish collecting the biometrics and get this fish back into the wild. But for me, I would definitely say this is probably the coolest fish I am ever going to encounter. I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. All right, guys, let's finish up with the work and let this fish go. To be completely clear, this is not a new species, nor is it a new discovery. But for the gar guys, this was the first time they have ever seen a living hybrid gar in the wild. And while we thought it was clever to nickname this creature the crocodile gar, upon further research, we learned that the term crocodile gar had been used by researchers in the past to describe this hybridized animal. Honestly, I wasn't surprised. It's a pretty obvious name choice. Considering the design of its long slender snout, you can easily see how it more closely resembles a crocodile than an alligator. Okay, this is it. The moment that we release the hybrid fish back into the wild. You guys ready? Yeah, yeah. ready. Okay, here we go. See you later then, big guy. Interbreeding between species in nature is a fairly common thing. However, it's important to remember that hybrids are sterile and cannot reproduce. So while these anomalies do pop up in nature from time to time, and they certainly are fascinating, this fish's genetics will not be carried on. Nonetheless, it was pretty cool to catch this creature on camera. Hey Coyote Pack, if you missed our epic Gar War saga, make sure to go back so you can watch from the beginning. And if you want to join the fish force and help in the conservation of this species, make sure to click on the link in the video description below. And don't forget, subscribe and join memberships so you can brave alongside me and the crew on our next adventure. I just truly can't get over the size of this fish.